point. Um, couldn't make a shot tonight, had 32 assists, uh, and we only we were 11 to 43 from three. Uh, so that number could have been much higher if we were able to make some shots. Um, and when your offense is struggling like it was tonight to make shots, that's when you really got to be able to lean on your defense. Uh, and they're a really good team. You know, that's number one offense in the NBA. Um, they were 52 from the field. They made 15 threes, and they got to the foul line 29 times compared to us only getting there eight times, which is a huge, huge discrepancy in free throw attempts. Um, so I, I think this, you know, no excuses, but, you know, this being our third game in four nights, I think when you start missing open shots, no legs, not, not a lot of energy, uh, our bench unit the last couple of games was great. You know, tonight, it wasn't the same for them. Um, but hey, man, you know, well, tomorrow we'll, we'll get some rest, get back to practice on Tuesday and, and try to get the Clippers on Wednesday. And, uh, you know, our guys, I thought, fought and played hard, but you know, we just weren't able to make shots. Coach, is there anything, when, when Joker goes to the bench, obviously when they made their runs tonight, what else can, can you do besides closing the bench? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's hard. I mean, last couple of games, uh, that's been the great thing about it, Vic, is that when he's been on the bench, that unit has just really uh, found a great rhythm. And, uh, you know, we've, we've kept that uh, attack mindset and we're able to score. Uh, and tonight, obviously, that wasn't the case. Um, and then, you, you know, you're, it's the worst feeling when you have to go back to your starters so quickly, when teams are going on a run and you're getting the Kohler back right away or Will or Aaron or Monte. Um, you know, but, you know, our, our second unit lately has been really good. So uh, hopefully by Wednesday, we'll get some bodies back. You know, only having 10 players available uh, is obviously not ideal. And, you know, once again, give Utah credit. You know, they're a good basketball team. Uh, they had the luxury of kind of you know, coming in here fresh and, and we weren't. And, uh, and I think that was one of the big factors uh, in this game. Well, he's scoring. I mean, like he's he's um, getting the ball in the post against smaller guys, and he's driving around people. Um, he's getting to the free throw line. And the funny thing is, you know, tonight he was one for four from three. Last game he was one for six. So it's not the three point line, uh, which he has the ability to do. But six free throw attempts tonight, five assists, twenty one points. Um, obviously, twenty one is a much better number than last time he played when he had thirty six, but. He's a really talented basketball player, and uh, he, he can get his own shot off the bounce. He can drive around you and score at the basket, and he's really effective and efficient low post player. And you know, uh, you know, he presents some problems down there, uh, and that's the challenge. You know, like anytime you put two on the ball against them, I mean, they're the number one three point and shooting team in the league. They make 15 a night, um, and they made 15 more tonight against us. Yeah, I mean, I could sit here and offer all the excuses in the world, you know, three and four, this and that. You know, um, we didn't play up to their our, our abilities. They played well. Are they a tough team to defend? Yes, and not just for us. You're not the number one offense in the NBA halfway through the season, uh, and, you know, they're having that same impact every night they play, and that's why they are number one. So uh, they present a lot of problems. You have a dynamic role in Rudy Gobert. Uh, they literally have four shooters on the floor at all times. Um, and, and so it's, uh, they're a tough cover. And, uh, you know, we just, we play them one more time and, and hopefully we can find a way to, for 48 minutes, um, execute, make shots, fire the ball, uh, and defend at a higher level than we have against them in the first three games. Uh, Coach Martin, you mentioned free throws there, 29 to eight. Is it even more surprising when you guys have 52 in the paint and are seemingly getting downhill and, and, and inside where you're theoretically a better chance of getting used to call? Yeah, I mean, it's disappointing. You know, I was, you know, complaining all night to the refs. You know, they have a hard job. It's a physical game. Uh, but that number jumps out to me. I mean, uh, we try to post up and play through Nicola a lot, uh, and he got there three times. But, you know, this game wasn't decided at the free throw line. You know, obviously it was, uh, I, I think, fatigue, tired legs, inability to make shots, um, and then obviously our inability just to guard consistently. That third quarter was a good defensive quarter. I think we held them to 36% in that quarter. Um, but as I mentioned earlier, Mike, you know, it's 
It's a game of runs and that close of the third, start of the fourth, 21 to four, um, on a night where we're struggling to make shots, it's hard to make up that ground. And, uh, you know, so again, they're a really good team. And uh, tomorrow is a, a great day for us to get mental and physical rest, get back to work on Tuesday and, and, and try to, you know, beat the Clippers at home on Wednesday. Thank you, Coach. Yep. Thanks, everybody.